Hi guys, um, this is Alan from Hillside Financial. How are you today? So, uh, well, for today, I actually want to do a revise on the setting of the SMA that I introduced in the past few days. It's a really important uh, revise, so uh, make sure you take a look at the video today and to find out what has been revised. Um, so, yep, so you can use the strategy correctly. So, uh, well, before that, uh, well, let's start with the normal Q&A corner. So, uh, well, the question I got was, um, what, uh, which strategy is actually has the highest um, winning percentage. So, uh, well, for the three strategies that I introduced in the past month, the, the, the Bollinger Bands with um, MACD, the MMA, and the recent one that um, I introduced, the SMA, um, the SMA actually has the highest um, winning percentage so, um, so far, which is close to um, 70% or even gets higher sometimes. So, uh, well, but the important thing here for you to remember is that um, you might not get to as high as 70% um, just right after you start using the strategy. The, um, all, um, it, it has a process that um, you need to learn and, and learn from your mistake and practice by using the strategy. So, um, well, just to remember that um, the strategy is the tool to help you to improve. It's not a cheat code you, you get from games that um, help you to grow from zero to 100 within a split second. So, uh, yep. The key here is to um, practice and learn and learn from a mistake and just do it over and over and over again so that um, you, you can master the strategy. So, uh, well, um, to me, um, all strategy actually has the potential to help you to improve, but um, what we need to do is just to put some effort on it and to, to practice and to learn from it. So, uh, well, yep, the key is to practice and learn. So. Uh, after the video, you can um, start to, to, to practice it straight away. And uh, well, if you want to use, um, if you want to trade with us and use our platform to practice, make sure you um, register with us today by, um, by the link at the description. So, uh, yep, that's pretty much for the um, Q&A corner. And uh, I want to move on to the revise, um, on the revise of, of the SMA now. So, uh, okay, let's get started. Well, um, the revise on the strategy is not about the parameter or, or the strategy itself or not. It's not about how we use the strategy, but it's a minor thing that, um, that might make trouble to, to some beginners. So uh, make sure you follow the video and um, learn and, and to see what has been revised. So, uh, well, first we will set up the um, indicators. So, uh, yep, let's go to the um, clinical indicator like usual. Yep, just click on technical indicator. Yep, and then uh, select the moving, uh, simple moving average, and then deselect the SMA3, and then yep, just deselect it, and then move on to parameter. And then SMA1 is seven, SMA2 is thirteen, and no change on this one here. Okay. Um. Yep. After you make sure everything is set up, close the technical indicators window. And uh, well, um, that's what you see on my video um, uh, on the past few days. The 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 the, at the red line is um, below the the blue line under downtrend. So uh, well, here's what has been revised. So um, the the red line is actually the short term SMA. The long uh, the blue line is actually the long term SMA here. But then um, somehow I actually um, changed the default setting and mixed up these two colors. So um, in, in your platform, you should see the, 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 the red line in my platform here should be blue and then the blue line should be red. So um, in your, in your, again, in your, in your platform, the default setting, the short term SMA should be blue, the long term SMA should be red. So uh, well, um, how to see a short-term and long-term SMA is pretty simple. The, the short-term SMA is close to the, to the candlestick and then the long-term SMA is further to the candlestick. So, uh, well, that's, that's the, the revise I want to make here is that I, I mixed up the color of the SMA and uh, well, it's pointed out by one of my customer and I'm really glad that he pointed out for me. So, uh, well, let's change back the setting to what you guys should see on the platform. So, uh, yep, just click on the color tool and then, uh, yep, I, I just um, change it back to default. You see now it changed back to yellow. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's blue. Yep, it's changed to blue and then the blue should be changed back to red. 
Yep, that's it. That's the that's the setting. Uh, I have changed it back. Okay, so again, the blue line is the short term SMA, and then the long, uh, the the red line is the short term, uh, the long term SMA. You see on your platform. Again, blue line short term, red line long term in your platform. So uh, the 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 short term SMA is closer to the uh, to the candlestick. The long term SMA is further from the candlestick. So uh, yeah, this has been revised, and uh, well, I will do some trades and um, just to revise my explanation on, on how you can use the indicator as well, just to make sure you get it right. Okay, so uh, okay, so um, yep, place a trade here, and then uh, I will start the explanation. Okay, so um, remember what I say here, and forget the the previous video and what I said in the previous video. So uh, well, in here the blue line cross over the red line. So um, the blue line is actually goes above the red line. So um, in here is a bullish indication. So um, I opened it a high position here. So um, if you wanna remember um, clear um, clearer, you can remember that the the short term SMA cross over the long term SMA. And then it go above it and then it's a bullish indication and then we open a high position here okay so um you see here the blue line is really close to the candlestick and that's the short term sma and then the the red line is slightly further from the sm uh, from the candlestick and that's the long term sma just remember that okay so uh the, the option finish is ending in profit and then just wait for another profit chance to come. Okay, crossover, low, and uh, well, it's rising now, and uh, I, yep, it's gone. And then uh, I make another trade here. So again, um, just a reminder on the um, on the purchasing timing here. So um, when the blue line is below the red line. Is a bearish indication we open low so um, blue line cross over red line blue line is below red line we open low but then uh, on the other hand when the two lines cross over the blue line is on top of the red line um, is a bullish indication we open high just like the one here and then um, another reminder is the, the color difference between the short term and long term SMA. The blue um, in your platform, the default setting, the, the short term SMA should be blue, the long term SMA should be red. So uh, that's pretty much you need to remember on this revise. And uh, okay, it was ended in profit. So, um, Three trades, two profits, and uh, one loss. And then uh, now we will browse a bit more and try to look for another trading chance to make more profits here. Okay, um, two lines crossover as a bearish indication, and uh, I opened it at a uh, low position here. Okay, so uh, well, what else should I remind you here? Um, okay, the, the last thing I need to remind you is about the um, option period and um, and the chart period. So um, there's no change on this. The, the chart period stays at 10 seconds and then the option period is at 1 minute. So um, again, chart, chart period 10 seconds, um, option period 1 minute. And uh, well, uh, I actually want to remind you something on the on the short term and long term SMA. So um, well, the short term SMA because the parameter is shorter, and then that's why um, the 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 it is more um, sensitive to the price change, so that um, is close to is closer to the candlestick. But then the long term SMA has a higher um, parameter, that's why it's further from the candlestick. So um, that's the explanation of the long term and short term SMA. So uh, well, okay. So uh, let's take a look at the history today. And the trade just now was ending in profit. So uh, which comes to um, three profits and one loss. And then the total profit is um, one hundred and twenty-five dollars. 
Okay, so um, a summary of today's um, video, um, the, the purchasing timing when you open high position is when the, well, in default setting, what I'm saying now is in your default setting in your platform. So, uh, so the, the timing to open high position is when the two lines cross over, the blue line, the short term SMA is above the long term SMA, the red one. So um, the blue line above red line, um, you open a high position. On the other hand, when you open a low position, you need to find the following requirement that um, the two lines cross over. The blue line, the short term SMA is below the long term SMA, the, the red one. So um, the blue one below the red one, you open a low position. So, uh, well, yep, that's pretty much about this strategy. And then this is the, um, this has the highest um, winning percentage so far. So uh, make sure you give it a try and um, remember what I have been um, explained in this revised. Um, and make sure you set your platform the indicator the default so that um, you don't make the mistake like I did. So, uh, well, okay, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'm sorry for the for the trouble, for the confusion that um, I I make in the previous videos. So um, and thank you for the one who remind me and spot out the mistakes. So uh, thank you and um, sorry for for the confusion and uh, thank you for watching. So uh, yep, that's it for today and I will see you soon again next week. Bye. All right. So uh, well, if you have been following my previous video and if there is something that um confused you or something that you don't feel right, make sure you let me know because um. Well, I make mistakes as well, so perhaps I, I make mistakes in my previous video and I didn't realize. So uh, make sure to let me know and um, I can so that I can revise the, the my explanation or my video um, to, to, to make sure you use it correctly. So uh, okay, so uh, well, happy Friday and um, have a nice weekend. Um, so if you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live shooting video. Okay, and I will see you soon again next week. Bye.